or are they going so far? Is it good? Okay, that's nice. Okay, so as you know, I'm very white, and I'm standing here in front of you today to talk about a phrase that we have all here countless of time. Just do it. Okay, right now you might think I'm just copying Nike, or it's just a simple cliche that we have all here a lot of times. However, it is a phrase that has completely transformed me from nothing to right now, something. You see, we are in a society when we are always taught to think a lot, to consider multiple factor. We're taught that a successful road is paved with careful consideration and multiple strategy. Yeah, this concept is undoubtedly valuable. However, sometimes I'm sure to suggest it's also good to think less and do more. If you ask me a year ago where I would be right now, I probably have no idea. But I'm pretty certain that I wouldn't be here standing in front of you and having a business on my own and starting a nonprofit. I would have none of this. I would definitely not have all these wonderful things that life has offered me. But now I do. And how did I make it? I would say the secret is embracing the essence of just do it. Just do it means taking action even when you're uncertain. Even when you're not even when you're not sure what's in front of you. It's about challenging your comfort zone and also stepping out of it. A year ago, I started my own business firm. And it's, nobody's helping me, I told no one. Because I'm so afraid that if I tell someone and if nobody comes and buy my thing, that's going to be kind of embarrassing. However, I was interviewed by several newspapers, and the most commonly asked question is always, how do you make it, and why? Because it's pretty simple. I like to go to the gym and work out, like a lot of you. I like to do it. However, I found it really difficult to find a clothes that actually fit me. Thus, a sudden idea strike to me, and be like, why not I just start my own business? I just make my own clothes, so it will fit me for sure. So I did. The same night I registered for the company, I designed the clothes and find the fabric and find the everything that I need the same night. And why is it important to do it the same night as you think of an idea? It's because if you already invest so many time and effort into a thing, there's no one that you're getting back that easily. Right? The same happens to my nonprofit organization. I started a nonprofit organization because one night I was talking to a friend from NYU CERN. It's a great business school, school with wonderful program. And I'm pretty sure that every single business major student wants to get in there. However, my friend called me and said, I think I want to change firm. I want to switch to another major. And that's when I wondered why you're in a good business school with a great business program. Why are you change firm? He said, well, I didn't get to experience a lot of business things before I choose this major. So I was really uncertain about what I wanted to do. And after I came to NYU CERN, I found that this is actually not what I want. That's the purpose of my organization. We gather a lot of CEO and a lot of manager of great company, and we all share our experience on entrepreneurship. So the college and high school student can be sure that they want to step into this role before they choose a major. And everything started in the simple nights. I planned out the whole thing, contact the CEO, and asked them, what do you think about this idea? Do you want to join us? And most of them said yes, fortunately. So we host our seminar these years, and it's been wonderful for me. So yeah, I saw a study a few years ago. It was about if you don't do things the moment that you are thinking about it, the likelihood of you continue after a few days is nearly zero. And I truly believe in this. Why? Because I was a procrastinator. I was a person who think a lot before. When I thought about doing something, I thought about maybe I'll fail, maybe my friend will laugh at me after this if I'm not successful. But no, thinking doesn't give you anything. 
Okay, it might give you some thought and some good idea, but if you just think, it's nothing. What brings you impact is taking action. Okay. Maybe not everyone wants to start your own business or nonprofit, so that can put it in a more realistic way. I'm pretty sure that most of you here would like to date a person in some time in your life, right? Right? So I feel like starting a business is like dating a person. We're never going past the talking stage. At least most of us don't. We snap each other, we text, and we call each other. However, we, when the person asks you, so why are you guys, are you guys dating or are you guys friends? You can never answer. Why? And also, a lot of people tell me that they want to start their own business. Yeah, why not? But after a few years when I talk to them again, they always be like, um, never mind, I didn't do it. Why? Why is that? And how do you stop this? I would say the solution to this problem is to just do it. Just ask the person you like out. Just confess if you think you're good enough for this. Just do it when you want to do it. Because why not? So in short, I want to tell you that even though this just do it phrase may seem like a cliche or simply a Nike slogan, it's also a thing that transformed my life. And I wanted it to transform yours too. And yeah. So what do you think about the phrase just do it right now? Is this still a cliche? Is it? Also, I want to really want to ask you guys. What do you think about your life right now? Are you thinking about doing something? Are you thinking about making an impact? I want you to take this into practice and I want you to do it with me. The next time you thought about doing something in front of anyone, it can be small. It can be like going to the restroom or taking a break right now, anything. The next time you thought about doing this, count three, two, and one. And when you reach one, you just do it. You stand up and do the thing you like. Thank you.